Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks so much for popping in. As always, such a pleasure and an honour to be able to come into your little room and spend some time with you. Or your big craft room, I don't know. <laughs> Mine's a little craft room, seriously, and my desk is just getting smaller, really is. Now, speaking of size, being a little person, um, I had a lovely message from Freetal, and I'm sorry, I don't know if that's how you pronounce your name, so I'll say it quickly. And um, she was saying this in Antwerp in Belgium. If they make cards larger than um, 10.5 and I think it's 14.8 centimetres, it costs a lot to post them. So it got me thinking and I thought, well, let's do some smaller designs. So thank you for your lovely comment. And um, I mean, it is lovely to, to just, you know, share things with you and also to get feedback. So I, I do value it. Thank you. So what I thought we'd do today is make two um cards and these are the ones and these are actually on four by four cards and envelopes now i get these um ready made and these i got from lavinia and as i say the four inches by four inches so i'm sure you're going to be post be able to post these okay but for those of you that do like a slightly larger card i just thought i would show you so this design I've made very similar, but put it on a six by six. Because I've got to be honest, for me, a six by six is it is the size I tend to go for. Again, available on the website. Um, so all I've done is slightly larger um topper and a little bit more stamping on my card, stamping on my envelope. And when it comes to the envelope, just to let you into my head, I always used to stamp on this corner. But here in the UK, we've got new stamps and the barcoded, and I think it's all sort of computerised now. Anyway, the much larger stamps. And so I've, I've moved my stamp into this corner because when I put one of these large stamps on and I write the address, it looks so much better. So that's why. And we've got a little bit on the back as well. Again, permanent ink. We don't want it to run if it gets wet. And speaking of wet, it gets wet a lot here in the UK. So... And then the other one, so this design here, again, I've popped something similar on a six by six, just sort of upscaled it a little. So that's what I thought we'd do. I'm going to pop these to one side. And as you know, I do struggle with one side. I think I need a larger desk. I'm gonna have to have a word with Mr. Rice. Now, the beauty of this is on these lovely, um, four by four as it just happens at the minute i'm really into using off cuts of card up i save all my card i'm sure you're the same and this topper size two inch square and it for me it's just the right size and i've got lots of off cuts that i've cut down so i had a little bit of a <laughs> A little bit of a play last night when I'd finished in my craft room and I had sort of 10 minutes while tea was cooking and um, I cut myself lots of two by two and I just added my Sharpie line or your black pen. I just whizzed round and I've got myself a whole little box of these ready to go. So our first design, what I'm going to do is come in with the moon mask and we're going to use violet chalk. But again, you could alter, you could use any colour for this. And I'm just going to pop my moon just in the corner up here. And in the mat, oh, that's quite funny. There's um, a delivery, some furniture delivery um, van just decided to reverse outside my craft room window. Don't worry, they're not coming here. We're not having furniture delivered. But his little bleeps were going then. So if you heard a bleep, that's what it was. It's not my smoke detector or my fire alarm. So I don't need to go. <laughs> it is funny. So all I'm going to do is pop that there. And just to take the whiteness off that, I'm not adding any more ink, but I'm just going to use the ink that's on my brush there just to add a little bit. Just for me, I don't know why. I just think it takes a little bit of that starkness off. And we'll just give this a wipe and put that back. Give this a wipe as well. My craft mat needs its weekly clean look. It's starting to look a bit. And the stamp I've chosen for this is the lovely lavender stamp. Now, again, I'm not going over the top with my stamping. Look, 
I just think that is going to look beautiful on there. And I'm going to come in, I like to team. I've mentioned this before, my elements and my Versafine Claire. And the violet chalk for me goes perfectly with the Monarch. So, And I'm just going to do some first and second generation. I think I'll do that, I like that there. And we'll just have a little bit of second there. I don't want to overcook it with the stamping. And I'm thinking maybe a first there, second just a bit behind. Look, and that's so pretty. I do love this lavender stamp. I've used it quite a lot recently. And what we're going to do is I just want that background because that's all the stamping I'm going to do to full bleach. So I've got my fan brush in my water pot. And I'm just tapping the most of the water off and we'll give that a good old flick of water and then we'll pop that over there to dry. And what we'll do is we'll go to our card blank now and this is the card I'm going to use. Now I've got another little piece of card here so I can just pop that on as my topper dries to give me an idea where I want to stamp and I've got a bird here from the bird collection now again when I was doing this originally I got the acetate just to see I mean you could even put two on here if you wanted you could pop it in the middle so many possibilities and we're going to use black for this the nocturne I don't think my bird would look right in purple. Although, I don't, I mean, there could be a purple bird out there. But because I've put a black Sharpie line around, I'm thinking the black will be fine. So I'm just going to raise it up a little bit there. And then I've got my sentiment, and this is from the Heartfelt Verses. And this is just for you, because I thought that's a nice generic. It could be used for so many different um occasions now i'm going to pop that just sort of under the middle there and then we're going to move that give that a bit of a blot and i just want to add a little bit of something under my little bird's feet so i'm going to come in with one of my hill masks and I've got one of the smaller brushes, the number three. And we'll just give him a little bit of a... I'm just going to pick the ink up from the lid. I don't need to go into my um, ink pad. There's plenty on my lid. And these little brushes are perfect for this. Yeah, there we go. Don't need more than that look. And while I've got this, I'm going to colour my butterfly as well. Now, as you know... Again, at the end of the day, I keep my scraps. Really, we must use up as many of our scraps as we can. And I've got a butterfly here, look. So we'll just add some colour. And again, nice quick way, this little brush is perfect for this. Now, I have got one I've cut out, so don't worry, we're not going to cut this out. But this is how I add the colour. Nice and simply, like that. Need to give this a wipe, don't I? Put that away. And now and all I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come in round the edge and I want to add a little bit of yellow. So I've got my clean colour and this one is number 50, actually called yellow. And just over the top look, I'm just going to add, I just want that hint of bright yellow to brighten up. And yes, I'm going over the lines, but I'm going to cut this out. So do you know what? It doesn't matter. And then just check my, yeah, lovely and clean. So, as I say, I've got one I've cut out, look, so you don't need to see me. i tell you what, if you needed to batch card make these, obviously you'll stamp the envelope up as well. And then when this is dry, so what we'll do, we'll give this a bit of a dab. And I'll just bring my heat tool in very quickly, just to give it a bit of a dry. Again, heat from the front and the back. 
and then what we'll do is come in with our lovely bippity boppity glue and the good thing is that means we get wiggle time so we've got the glue on the back and I'm just going to decide and we'll pop that there again bit of wiggle time like a bit of wiggle time don't you then I'm going to decide where I want my butterfly. Now, it might be you don't want a butterfly. It might be you want this to be a, a, a nice, clean and simple card design. But I just think that, for me, just finishes it off. So because I've cut his antennae off with my black fine liner, I'm just going to draw some on. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to this with my Wink of Stella. I'm not going to overcook it because, again, this could even be um, a sympathy design. Um, but we'll just add a little bit and also I'm not sure this butterfly I'm going to put flat again I'm thinking postage that's what I was thinking so if it's a design where you need you can't be nice and slim for posting then we'll pop the butterfly flat it might be you are hand giving this and you want to decoupage your butterfly and the last little thing with my yellow Posca, I'm just going to come in and I just want to add a few Posca splats and I want to take them over the topper and just across the card a little, just to take away the plainness of that card. And they're only tiny, look. So they're not that, that obvious, but for me, it just looks nice that they're there. So, I must stop saying so. I've suddenly realised I seem to say it a lot. I need to think of another word. If anybody can think of another word I can say instead, let me know and I'll try and um, get that into the conversation. I nearly said it then. That's our first little card done. So, if we come in with our next one. So, the next one, look. I was thinking this would be one that would be more suitable for a male friend. So, I don't want to always just do floral designs. And again, we've got our lovely two inch piece of card. And for this one, we're going to use this lovely stamp. And this is the pheasant. And he actually comes, look, on his, his post already. And we're going to stamp him in black. Ink him up. And I just want him so he's in sort of the centre of that little piece of card. Just because we're using a small piece of card, it doesn't mean that you have to have a small design. Now with this, you could just make yourself a topper as we did with our first and pop it on there. But I, I thought let's just mix it up a bit and see if we can introduce something a little bit more so what I'm going to do is I just want to cover this because I don't want to stamp across the back not on this occasion so I'm going to ink up again in the black in the nocturne and I want that post just off there that off there Right, we're going to go for that. And again, it's just a lovely way. We're almost spotlighting Mr Pheasant with our topper. Just because you're making a small card, it doesn't mean it has to almost be, um, you know, not pretty or not have detail. I mean, I bet if you look, you've got so many stamps that you could use for this. There we go. That's lovely. It's not gone over. I mean, look at that. You could create, if you are happy stamping, again, this is the way my mind works. You could create some background here and actually leave that totally as it is and not add your topper. So again, there's another design. Let's stamp the sentiment while we're doing our stamping. And this one will pop down here again just for you 
and then what we'll do is we'll just add some colour to our pheasant. Let's check he's, he's nice and dry. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm sure you could make this into a Christmas design. I'm definitely going to have to make some Christmas ones. So that could be next week's. And let's come in with the blue at all for this one. Now, where did I put my circle mask? Popped it down, didn't I? Now, for this one, we could put the circle mask like we did on the one previous. But I think it's nicer to just highlight and spotlight our pheasant look. We could just have it there, I think. So spend a bit of time just getting it so it looks right. Again, we'll dab off in the lid. And just nice and quickly add some colour. And this is the blue at all. A little bit more at the base. Yeah, happy with that. We'll give that a wipe, put that away. And just for a little bit more detail. Now, we could add splashes of water, but I'm thinking we've done that on the previous card. So let's just introduce something a bit slightly different. And let's come in with the orchard grass. And again, my Versafine Claire and my Elements, my Blue Atoll goes perfectly with my Warm Breeze. So let's bring in the top of the orchard grass and just have that orchard grass growing. Again, let's alter the, the shape. Just want one more, just popping up there. Yeah, and that I think just frames it nicely. Let's give that stamp a wipe. And then what we're going to do is, if I pop this on here, we can put our two together look. So again, in with our glue. I'm not saying it twice. You know what type of glue it is, don't you? And pop the lid on. And then again, because we're using the glue, We've got that wiggle time. So let's just, so it needs to go up a bit. So we want it across on this one and then up on that one and hopefully it's square. Not in the centre, but enough that it's off centre for me so it looks. So happy with that. Maybe just nudge it that way, turn it. Yep, yeah, that's enough of a wiggle. Yep, yeah, right, we're going with that. And then what I do want to do is just find my pastel pencils look, which could you tell they were filed on the floor. And we'll just add a little bit, a little bit of highlight just on the top here, across the fence. Again, I don't want it to be too, just a little bit, nothing too much, but just enough. Now again, if you wanted to bring in some Wink of Stella just on the grass, if you wanted to bring in a little bit just round the moon there. But what I do want to do is I'm going to add some splats on here. But for this one, I'm going to come back in with my ink, pop a little bit on my mat. Don't want too much water, a little bit of water look. And then just a few across my design and in this corner. Just so it's a different way. We're not doing the full bleaching. And we'll give that a wipe. And there you have your second design. Now, I really do think you could batch card make these. And as I say, I can't wait to go through, I'm just going to tidy up a little bit, the rest of my stamps and have a look what other stamps I've got that would add to this. Now I have also got my beautiful, um, and this Posca's called Light Blue. And when I stamped on my envelope, I added 
the Posca to my envelope look only because if I'd used my element sink, obviously with it being water based, when it, if it got wet it would run. But my Posca acrylic paint, so once it's dry, it's permanent. So the blue Posca was perfect for that. I could have added blue pos Posca on the card if I wanted, but I just wanted to show you it's you know a different technique. So we'll bring them both in together. The one we've made today and our envelope. So like I say, I hope you enjoy creating those and maybe look at doing some 4x4 four four just for a change. And I'm hoping that that really helps. And I'm just going to check our lady's name. Freetle, I think it was. As I say, sorry about the pronunciation. Um, you know, I, I rename things and I struggle with names. I'm sure it's just because we've got dyslexia in the family. But... I'm hoping that helps and I'm hoping if you have a go, you'll tag me in. And remember, you can do the same design on an 8x8 card. Just increase the size a little bit. But I'm definitely going to go away and look at some more designs that I can make. And it's great because I'm using my scraps up. Right, I'm off. Need to go and play. You take care. See you again soon. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.